All right, this is Jonathan Johnson here today. We're going to be working with Packet Tracer doing uh, configuring Ethernet and serial interfaces. Our objectives are uh, configure a LAN Ethernet interface, configure a WAN, WAN serial interface, and verify the interface configurations. Background preparation in this activity, you will configure the LAN Ethernet interface and the WAN serial interface on the, on the customer Cisco 1841 router. Our step one is uh, configure the LAN Ethernet interface. So we're gonna go into here to um, customer PC, and we're gonna go desktop, and then terminal, and then we'll click OK, and it's gonna come up. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to uh, use it, the terminal emulation software on the customer PC to connect the Cisco 1841 customer router. Enter Cisco for the console password. Okay, so we're gonna go. Well, Cisco, and we pull that up for the password. Um, we're going to enter privilege exec mode using Cisco one two three for the privilege exec password. So we're going to have to we're have to go enable, enter, and we're going to go Cisco one two three, enter, okay, and then we're going to go conf t, okay. And now we got this up. Now we're in global configuration mode. Now we're going to go uh, to identify which LAN interface to configure with an IP address to configure the fast Ethernet interface. We're going to use this command. We're going to go interface fast Ethernet fast Ethernet zero dash zero slash zero enter. And we're going to add a description to the interface. So we're going to go description, description, command, or connected, excuse me. Description, connected to customer switch. Enter. And then we're going to specify the IP address. And a subnet mask for the interface. So we're going to go IP address. And we're going to go 192.168.1.1 space. And we're going to go 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. Enter. <coughs> now, what did we do wrong here? See here. So we're going to go IP. IP address. 192.168.1.1. Space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Enter. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna ensure that the interface is enabled. So we're gonna go no no shutdown. Okay. Now it's up. Change the the state of it is changed to up. So it's not shut down now that that's on. And now we're going to exit interface configuration mode. So we're going to go end, enter, OK. And now we're going to, step two, we're going to verify the LAN interface configuration. So we're going to use the show IP route command to verify your configuration. This is a partial example of the output. So we're going to go show IP route, enter, show IP, show IP route, enter, and it says output output omitted the gateway of last resort is not set and this shows uh, all the protocols fast ethernets and again we have the initials of uh, C means connected etc and all that um, gateway of last resort is not set yes we have all that so now we're gonna make sure 192.168.1 uh, 0 slash 24 is directly connected fast ethernet 00, zero. Um, 
Yep. Fast Ethernet 00 changed the state to up because remember before we set it for no shutdown. Um, and now for step three, we're going to configure the WAN serial interface. All right, so now we're gonna go. We got to get back into global configuration mode. Go Conf T, enter. So now we're in global configuration mode. Now we're gonna identify the serial interface to configure. So we're gonna go INT. Whoops. INT. Enter. So that didn't work. So we're gonna try interface serial. One dash. Zero dash one zero. Zero one zero. Okay. Every time I do that. All right. So now we're gonna go sh uh, show run. Before we show run, we gotta exit, and then we can do a show run. Well, maybe we gotta exit twice. Enter, there we go. The show run. <sighs> All right, now we got this. We're just gonna enter. No IP lookup, we got that before. Spanning tree mode prevent. The duplex shutdown, these are all from before. The login VTYs and the passwords. And now we got a bunch of customer routers up. Okay. How do you describe it? Type in snacking. So now I'm gonna type in description connected to ISP enter okay and we're going to specify the interface IP address and subnet mask we're going to go IP IP address and subnet mask and the sub typing so we're going to type in this uh, address 209.165.255.255.255.255.254 enter invalid whoop I'm not typing here 209 dot 165 dot 200 dot two five five space two two five space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four enter we got that now ensure that the interface is enabled IP address 209.165.200.225 space 255.255.255.224 enter so now we're going to go and make sure that this is enabled we're going to go exit and we're going to exit again hit enter 
now we're in here we're gonna go show run and pull up and we're gonna go make sure that um the specify that the IP address and subnet mask and that the interface is enabled so we're gonna push enter interface fast ethernet description connected to customer switch IP address that one is duplex and speed is auto interface fast ethernet interface serial description IP address shut down no IP address description connected to ISP so it's enabled um, now we're gonna end the interface configuration mode which I think we already did um, we already seen that use the, we're gonna use the ping command to verify connectivity to the WAN interface on the ISP router this is the partial example of the output alright now we're gonna use the ping command uh, to verify connectivity of the customer switch this is a partial example of the output so we're gonna go ping 192.168 whoops .168.1.1 and we're gonna enter sending 5 100 success rate is 100% so it pinged correctly so we have that set up right. Uh, now we're going to save the configuration and privilege. We got to ping this one now. 209.165.200.226. Enter. Yeah, success rate is zero. Okay, so now we went back in and we changed this. So now it says that uh, customer router config line protocol five is up down. Line protocol on interface serial zero slash one slash zero is changed state to up. So now we're gonna go exit. And we're gonna go exit again. Enter. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go ping it two o nine dot one six five dot two zero zero dot two two six. Enter. And it says success rate is 100%. So now we're good for pinging that. Um, now we're going to go check our results, make sure everything is uh, good now. 87%. I think I'm forgetting to ping something here. Uh, We're gonna go ping this one one dot one enter sending one hundred percent complete for the ping eighty seven percent still. Now we're gonna save our work, copy, run, start, enter, dead destination file, start config, enter, okay. Now let's see if we're at 100%. 87%. All right, we gotta get back into here. We're gonna go conf t. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna do this part again. Interface. We're gonna type in interface. Yeah, serial. Serial. Zero, zero slash one slash zero. We're gonna go enter. And then we're going to type in description, description, connected, connected to ISP, enter, and we're going to go IP address 209 dot one six eight dot one six five two two six dot one six five dot two hundred 
225 space 255.255.255.224 right yeah then we're going to go enter and then we're going to go no shut we're going to go no shut enter exit yeah we're going to go exit enter exit enter enter again we're going to ping it and go 209.165.200. We're gonna go show run instead before we ping. Then it shows everything on here for the sixth time we've seen. Okay, now we're gonna ping 209.165.200. Two hundred dot two two five two two six enter success and we're gonna ping the other one which is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one enter one hundred percent ping that one now we're gonna save it go copy run start enter enter again okay now we're gonna go check our results one more time hopefully we have hopefully it's set now check results and it still says this activity is incomplete and uh, that's talk that's how you um, Configure Ethernet and serial interfaces. Thank you for your time. Bye.